OK, so looking at some laws of indices. When multiplying, we add the powers. So that's going to be m to the power of 7. When we've got brackets, all of them need to be done to the power of 3. So that's 5 to the power of 3, n to the power of 3, and that's going to be p to the power of 9 as we multiply those powers. To work this out, though, we do need to simplify that 5 to the power of 3, which is 125. So we have 125, n to the power of 3, p to the power of 9. When dividing, we divide the numbers, but we subtract the powers. So 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. Q9 and Q3, take them away, we get Q to the power of 6. And then R4 and R1, that would be R to the power of 3. And there we go. So if you want to practice more questions like this in an easy to use booklet, head over to the gcsemathstutor.co.uk, click on the menu, go into the free resources, click on revision guide, enter your details and download my ultimate revision guide.